At our age, it's just something what uh, brings home a bit of reality, doesn't it? <laughs> you know? It was just so comical for us. The humour combined with the pictures, absolutely superb. This exhibition basically explores a relationship uh, of a couple, Frank and Joy, uh, in a later life and their exploration of uh, getting down and getting funky. Peter and I, what we hope to achieve with this exhibition is to get people talking about a topic that's uh, generally considered taboo. When you reach a certain age, you know, sex is a bit of a taboo, but it's not really, is it? You know, it's for any age, really. It's sort of challenging the stereotype where it's easy to think of old people as just kind of not active in this kind of way. I think it's a super reflection of um, elder generations' um, difficulties with life. Because people just naturally assume that, you know, once things get a bit wrinkly and a bit withered, that they don't work anymore. But people's minds still work, and most of sex is in your mind. So why wouldn't older people be interested in sex? That's why we're laughing so much, because it is us, you know. This project came about because it's based on my own research that we've been doing at the University of Sheffield for 17 years, looking at the sexual health and sexual well-being of older adults. It's, it's a serious subject, it really is, but we try to take it with a little bit of humour so people aren't, aren't battered over the head with it and it can be kind of a little bit subversive and they can come away thinking. <laughs> And this just shows that there, that there is a sex life and there is fun for, for whatever age. And I'm sure people who are younger maybe can take little snippets from this. Uh, but certainly people of my age will find it fascinating.